Hello oh, and welcome. I'm Nicole from Flow Into Nature. Today we have the back of your class in the Deep in Your Practice with Repetition series. We are going to work into our back bends, and that will help if you have any back pain and help strengthen your core. So we'll go ahead and get started in the back of the mat. Bring your knees out wide, big toes to touch. Reach your arms forward. Bring in your forehead to the mat. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, press your palms into the mat, reach your elbows up off the earth. Exhale, sinking your hips towards your heels, lengthening the spine. Inhale, we'll come up into tabletop, bringing your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. Inhale, drop your belly, reach your heart forward. Exhale, cat, round the spine, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, cow, reach your hips up towards the sky. As you look forward, maybe shifting your weight into your hands. Exhale, cat, tuck your chin to your chest and then press into your palms. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. couple more on your own. Maybe try rolling through your spine nice and slow, opening up. We'll meet in a neutral tabletop when you're ready. Tuck your toes and send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Your hands should still be about shoulder width and distance and your feet are hips width and distance. Inhale, press into your palms. And exhale, reach your sit bones towards the sky. Inhale, come onto your tippy toes. Exhale, slowly melt your heels towards the earth. Keep bending the knees as much as you need here. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk forward to the top of the mat. Feet are hips within distance. Bend into your knees a lot. Grab opposite elbows. Release your neck heavy. Take a nice fold. Bring your weight into your toes. You let gravity do its work. You're releasing the low spine here. Gently rock side to side if that feels good to you. And this is your class, so always listen to your body first. I'm just offering suggestions, but you know what's best for you. If you'd like to, you can shake out your neck. Shaking it, yes. No. Yes again. Letting it feel good. Mm -hmm. Inhale, exhale, release your hands down. Toe heel your feet to touch, 
bend into the knees and gently roll up one vertebrae at a time, coming to standing. As you reach the top, keep reaching your arms, heart, and eyes towards the sky. And exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale once again, reach your arms, heart, eyes towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Go ahead and close down your eyes and take a moment to set your attention for class today. Bring your weight to your heels, pull up on the knees, and gently tuck your tailbone. Finding a nice tall posture, reaching your head up towards the sky, feeling a length and spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Think of how you'd like to feel by the end of this class. Exhale. Let it go. Blink open your eyes. Inhale. Reach your arms all the way up. Interlacing your fingers. Just releasing the pointer fingers. Gaze is forward. Inhale, reach all the way up once again, growing about three inches if you can. Bring the weight into your heels and point towards the right as your hips jut out towards the left. Beautiful. Really reach your arms out long. Straighten your elbows, straighten your wrists, and straighten your fingers if you can. Pull the right shoulder forward. And that left hip forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming back to center, reaching up. And exhale, pointing towards the left, hips out towards the right. Beautiful. Once again, really reaching your arms super straight, as straight as you can. Plate of focus is right in front of you. Pull that left shoulder forward and that right hip forward to try to find a nice long spine. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming back to center. Now we'll prepare for a back bend. Bend into your knees, coming into chair pose. Look up at your fingertips. Reach your arms out long, extending your elbows and gently begin to point towards the ceiling and back if possible. Keep your gaze at your fingertips and feel your chest begin to open. Inhale, exhale. And to come out, we'll begin by reaching the head back up, standing up tall. Beautiful, bend into the knees once again, maybe bring one foot out actually. Hip, bring your feet about hips width and distance, bend into the knees, and then we'll begin to point forward with a straight spine, bringing your hands to the mat, coming into a forward fold. Bring your armpits to your knees, and if you can, grab behind your ankles, maybe behind your calves, and if possible, tuck your fingers underneath your heels. Bring your weight into your toes. And tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Release your hands back to the mat. Inhale. Halfway lift, bring your hands to your thighs, extend your spine out straight. Weight comes into your toes. Look straight down in front of you. Pull in your belly button. Inhale. Exhale, release your hands down, bend into the knees as much as you need. Once again, inhale, halfway lift. Finding a nice, strong, straight spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, 
plank pose. Shift your shoulders over your wrists and squeeze your arms towards each other. We want everything squeezing in towards the center. This is gonna make us feel really stable and really strong. If you need to, you can always come down onto your, your knees. Press into the balls of your feet. Gently tuck your tailbone. Really press into your palms, lifting your shoulders up towards the sky. Inhale. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bring your knees, your chest, and your chin to the mat. Make sure your elbows are tucked in by your side, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Beautiful. Inhale, sliding forward. Bring the tops of your toes to the mat. Press your palms into the mat, right underneath your shoulders. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, cobra. Looking forward. Press your palms into the mat and pull your palms towards you as you reach your heart forward. Release. Coming to child's pose. Bringing your hips to your heels, extend your arms out long. Inhale. Wonderful. Pull that once again. Coming through tabletop, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, press your palms into the mat. Exhale, pull your belly button. Inhale, reach your hips up towards the sky. Exhale, sink your heels towards the earth. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step, jump, hop forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, finding a nice long spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale with a straight spine, reach your arms all the way up towards the sky, hands, heart, eyes up towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up once again, clasping your fingers, just releasing them with your fingers. This time we're gonna take opposite grip, so switch the way that you are holding your hands. Beautiful. Bring your weight into the heels, pull up on your knees, Protecting your little spine here, reach your arms all the way up, inhale, exhale, point towards the right, hips out towards the left, inhale, extend your arms out long, exhale, and a little deeper, inhale, back to center, reach up, Exhale, point towards the left, hips out towards the right. Inhale, extend your arms out long, straighten your elbows. Exhale, pull your left shoulder forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, set your hips down, look up at your fingertips. Inhale, reach, straighten your elbows. Straighten your wrists, straighten your fingers. Exhale, gentle back bend. Your focus follows your fingers. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, coming all the way back to standing. Head comes up last. Bring your left foot out, bring, making your feet hips within distance. Inhale, standing up tall, lengthening the spine. Exhale, folding forward, bending into the knees as much as needed. Grab behind your legs, wherever is comfortable. Inhale. 
exhale, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, pull your belly button in, bring your weight to your toes. Exhale. Release your hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank pose. Inhale, squeeze everything in towards the center. Exhale, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bring your knees, your chest, and your chin to the mat. Inhale, sliding forward. Untuck your toes, bringing your big toe onto the mat. Exhale, all your stale air. Press your hip bones into the earth as you reach up Cobra Pose. Bring your heart forward and release. We'll push back to Child's Pose. Inhale. Big exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, tabletop, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. <sighs> Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward forward fold. Inhale, coming all the way up, hands, heart, eyes towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up once again. This time we're preparing for eagle pose. We'll bring the right arm underneath the left, bringing palms to touch. If this feels like too much, go ahead and grab opposite shoulders. Sit your hips down and back like chair pose, and then bring your right leg up and over your left. We're gonna aim for a double bind, but if you feel like you're losing your balance, go ahead and use your toe as a kickstand. Beautiful. Squeeze your legs together, squeeze your ankles, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your elbows together, pull your chest forward as you bring your elbows in towards your belly button. Inhale, find your point of focus right in front of you. Exhale, squeeze everything in towards the center. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, we'll release, standing up tall, bringing your hands, heart, eyes towards the sky. Exhale, release, left arm comes under the right or you're grabbing opposite elbows. Sit your hips down and back. This time we're gonna bring the left foot up and over. Again, you can use your big toe as, tick, as a kickstand or you can wrap it underneath your leg having your big toe reaching towards your right ankle. Beautiful, inhale, bring your heart forward. Exhale, pull your elbow into your belly button. Inhale, find your point of focus. Exhale, squeeze everything in towards the center and release, standing up tall, hands, heart, eyes towards the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up once again. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, plank. Inhale, make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. 
Exhale, tuck your tailbone. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, come all the way down onto your belly. We've gotten to the back bending series here. So we're gonna start with Cobra Pose, which we've already done before. This time we're just gonna have a little bit of a longer hold. Okay, so to prepare, make sure your big toes are pressing into the mat, so much so it lifts your knees up off the earth. This is gonna protect your low spine, so it's a very important step. I like to press my hip bones into the earth to also help keep my belly on the ground and protect that low spine. We really wanna engage that whole area. All right, we'll take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, begin your cobra pose by reaching your heart, your eyes, your chin, and your chest towards the sky. If you're feeling open enough, I encourage you to look up, relax your forehead, really press your palms into the earth, pull them towards you as you reach your heart forward. We'll be here for three, for two, Press your big toe into the mat for one and release. Put your left ear on the mat, release your palms by your side and let your heels splay out. Inhale. Take a nice big exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Long, slow exhale. We really want to get rid of all the still air between these postures. Okay, we're going to do one more round of Cobra. To prepare, bring your palms underneath your shoulders. Once again, really press into your big toes, bringing your heels to touch. Inhale. Exhale. Look up. Chin up, chest up. Squeeze your elbows into your side. Beautiful. Make sure your belly button is pressing into the earth. For three, for two, and one. This time release your right ear to the mat. Extending your arms out long, releasing your heels. Gaze should still be on the mat. Take a nice big inhale. Slow exhale. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. We're going to now bring our palms underneath our bodies. So your palms are still facing the mat, touching the mat. The tops of your hands are gonna be touching your body. So bring your hands all the way underneath you. You should be able to maybe feel your wrists where your hip bones are and your pinkies should be touching. Okay, we're gonna do a half locust. So we'll start with the right leg. We wanna completely relax the left leg. It's not gonna be engaged at all. So let that left leg completely relax. It's gonna take a little bit of effort and that's okay. You can bring your mouth to the mat if you need to, um, if this feels like too much on your neck. Otherwise, your chin will be on the mat. Okay. We'll start with an inhale. On the exhale, lift your right leg up, really point into your toes. Press your palms into the mat to help you reach that right leg up. Reach it as high as you can. Extend your leg out long for three. Relax the left leg for two. Engage your right glute for one and release, beautiful. Now go ahead and relax that right leg. We're gonna go straight to the other side. Inhale, exhale, lift the left leg up as high as you can. 
point to your toes, extend your leg out long. Beautiful, press into your palms for three, for two, and one, release. You can remove your hands out. Place your left ear onto the mat and let your knees, your heels fall to the side. Keep your gaze on the mat, maybe just an inch or two in front of you. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Wonderful job. Now we're going to try that once again bringing your palms underneath you. Again, the tops of your hands are touching your body and the bottoms of your hand are touching the mat. Your mouth is either on the earth or your chin, depending on how your neck is doing. If you haven't done a lot of back bends, it might be more comfortable to have your neck on the ground. Okay, so now we're gonna do another version of locust where we're gonna press our palms into the mat and we're gonna to try to reach both legs up at the same time. Now, it takes a lot, this is gonna gain a lot of strength in our spines, it's really healthy for our spines, um, but it does take quite a bit of time to work into this. So you might not only be able to lift your legs up just a little bit, but over time you'll get stronger and it'll become easier. So don't feel discouraged, we're all on this journey together. Okay, so we're going to inhale, pressing your palms into the mat. On the exhale, reach both legs up, press your palms in, press your hips in, reach your legs as high as you can. For three, point your toes for two, and one. Gently, slowly release back down, release your arms from underneath, palms face up. Place your right ear onto the mat and take two breaths here. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Now we're going to come into our full locust. So bring your heart arms in between like a T and a Y. So maybe like just where the corners of your mat are. This time we're going to lift our arms and our legs. So to begin, so we're going to press the hips into the ground and engage your glutes. This is going to protect the low spine. Okay. Take a nice big inhale to prepare. Exhale, reach your arms up, reach your legs up. We're only doing this once, so reach as high as you can. For three, for two, and one. Look up and release. Left ear onto the mat, palms by your side. Let your heels hang to the side. Two breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, beautiful. Now we're going to do bow pose. So bring your hands to the inside, no, to the outside <laughs> um, of your feet. So where your pinky toes are, grab onto your feet just below your pinky toes and all fingers on the same side. Wonderful. Bring your chin back to the mat. The trick here is to press your feet into your hands first and then lift your chest. Your hip, your knees are about hips width and distance and we don't want to pull them any further than that. To prepare, inhale. Exhale, press your hands into your feet, lifting the chest, and then if you can, reach your knees up off the mat. Look up towards the sky for three, for two, 
and one, release, coming back down. Place your right ear onto the mat. Two breaths here. Wonderful. We're actually going to do bow pose just one more time because I love it. It feels good and it's really good for your digestive tract. So go ahead and grab onto the outside edges of your feet once again. Bring your chin to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Press your feet into your hands. Lift your chest. If this still feels good, begin to lift your knees up off by pulling into your hands, creating tension. Gaze comes up and your weight is on your belly. Reach as much as you can for three, two, one. Really relax your forehead and gently release, bringing your left ear onto the mat. Toes to touch, heels fall to the side, palms face up. Inhale. Big exhale. Inhale. Big exhale. Bring your hands underneath your chest, gently push, pushing yourself up. We're going to come to the front of the mat now. Ready for reclined thunderbolt. So we'll bring the knees to touch and sit in between your feet. We really want to squeeze the knees in together. If this feels like a lot, sometimes I know it really stretches my ankles and it's a little bit uncomfortable. Um, you can stay here. You can also place a block or a pillow underneath your hips and that will really help. If this feels a little bit uncomfortable, I encourage you to just stay here, breathe into it, take the block. Um, and if this feels good and you'd like to go deeper, then we'll go ahead and bring the palms right to where your toes are, reaching your heart forward and dropping your head back. Notice how this feels. Take an inhale. Exhale. If you feel like you can go deeper, go ahead and bring both elbows onto the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Staying in whatever layer feels good for your body. Keep squeezing your knees towards each other. If this still feels good for you and you'd like to go deeper, you can bring your head to the ground and grab opposite elbows. Squeeze your knees together. Inhale. Exhale. If you'd like to go deeper, squeeze your knees in. Gently lift your hips towards the sky. One more breath here. We'll come out with the same way we came in. So if you are all rolling down, we'll bring the hands to the feet. Press into your elbows, coming up onto your elbows. Once you've made it to your elbows, press into your hands, sitting up all the way. And we'll come onto the hands, tabletop. Go ahead and kick out the feet. Beautiful. All right, now we are going to come to the back of the mat. Let's go back a little bit more. Sitting on the heels, preparing for our tortoise. Bring your arms all the way up. Inhale. This time we're going to clasp our hands and just release the fingers. Inhale, finding a really tall, long spine. We're going to press the shins into the mat and begin to reach your arms forward. The goal here is to make sure your forehead reaches the ground before your peak. It's okay if your hips lift up. Once your forehead reaches the ground, pinky comes down. 
Inhale. Exhale. This pose is really similar to child's pose, but our energy is reaching up and out. Very strong. Extend your elbows long, straighten your elbows. Just the pinkies touching the earth. Your forehead is on the earth. And if you can, try to bring your nose to the earth as well. Extend your arms out long. And sink your hips towards your heels. One more breath here. Beautiful. Another straight spine. The same way we came in, we'll come all the way up. Nice and slow. Arms by your ears. And release. Beautiful. Maybe shake out the head. Looking right and left. Dropping your ear towards your shoulder. And looking up and down. Beautiful. We'll take two circles going towards the right. Setting up nice and tall. And two circles towards the left. Beautiful. All right, now we are going to come into our camel pose our peak back bend of class. So the hips are gonna be hips within distance. If you'd like to, you can make two fists and place them between your knees. Uh, you can start by tucking your toes. It'll bring your heels a little bit closer. Place your palms on your low back, just below where your ribs are. So like if you had pockets, you could place your hands in your pockets. Squeeze your elbows together. Notice how that opens up your chest already. Sitting up tall, inhale. On the exhale, begin to look up towards the sky and your gaze will follow backwards. Your heart is still reaching up towards the sky. This is very, very tall, no crunching in the low back. If you can see where the wall and the floor meet, go ahead and grab onto your heels. Still reaching your heart forward. It's a really, really tall camel. Imagine creating lots of space in the spine. Looking back behind you for three, for two, and one. Bring your palms back to your spine. Sit your hips back down and your head comes up last. Bring your hands to your thighs or your heart. Close down your eyes and take two breaths. Wonderful, we're gonna do this pose one more time. So to prepare, bring your knees, hips within distance, palms to the back of your, to your low back, Squeeze your elbows together, inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, finding your camel, reaching your heart up towards the sky as your gaze comes back. If you can, reach onto your heels. Your thumb is on the outside, fingers on the inside. Keep reaching your heart up. Reach, reach, reach for three, for two, and one, bringing your palms back to your low back, sitting down and bringing your gaze forward. Once again, palms to your thigh or to your heart. Take two breaths here. Wonderful, now we're preparing for rabbit pose. I'm gonna scoot back on my mat just a little bit. Coming to the back of your mat. So just as we have our grip for our camel, we'll bring your, grab onto your heels, 
with your thumbs on the inside and your fingertips on the outside. Sit up tall. And now imagine if someone <laughs> were to punch you in the belly, you're going to round your spine and bring your chin to your chest. Really, really round as much as you can. And then we're going to bring our forehead to our knees, placing the top of the head onto the mat. If your forehead and knees are not touching, scoot your knees forward and really bring your chin to your chest. Begin to lift your hips up towards the sky. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. And with a straight spine, we'll come all the way back up. Beautiful. Extend your legs out wide. Preparing for a forward fold. So I like to bend my knees as much as possible. The goal here is to keep our spine nice and straight. We're not gonna try to round the spine, we wanna keep it straight. So we're really leading with the heart here. Extend your arms out long, grab onto your big toe with your peace sign fingers. Bend your knees as much as you need to, to be able to reach your belly to your thighs. Inhale, exhale, reach. Gaze is at your big toes, and if you can, maybe you might be able to walk your heels out a little bit, but we wanna keep our thigh on our chest and the spine nice and long. No rounding of the spine here, really pulling your heart forward, flexing the feet. We'll take two more breaths here. One more. Wonderful. The straight spine will come all the way back up. Extend your right leg out long. Bring the left knee, the left the bottom of the left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Bend that right knee once again. And we're going to prepare for bringing our forehead to our knee. Inhale, reach your arms up, creating a basket grip. So just grabbing and releasing your fingers, but keeping your palms apart. And then if you can, reach your arms underneath the bottom of your foot. Pull your foot in closer if you need to. Inhale, finding a nice long spine. Exhale, we're gonna round the spine and bring the forehead onto the knee. Bringing your chest, your chin to your chest, and your forehead to the knee. Inhale, exhale. You might be able to extend your right leg forward, but keeping your forehead on the knee is the most important part here. Doesn't matter how straight your leg gets, we will really want to surround the spine. Inhale, pull your belly button in. Exhale. Beautiful. Coming back up, we'll exchange the legs, extend the left leg out, bottom of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Bend into the left knee. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, grab onto the bottom of that left foot. All right, once again, bring your forehead to your knee. Inhale, exhale, pull your belly button in, really rounding the spine. I like to pull my fingers into my foot if you feel the edge of my back. And if you'd like to, you can begin to extend your leg forward. Just make sure your forehead is staying on. Inhale, exhale. Coming back up, nice and tall, preparing for a twist. 
we'll bend the left knee, bringing the foot to the outside of your right hip and place your right foot just on the outside of the left knee. Inhale, reach your left arm up nice and tall. On the exhale, bring your left arm. Try to tuck your armpit underneath the knee and twist open towards the right. I like to grab on to my left knee with the left hand to help me twist. Pull your belly button in and twist a little deeper. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, find a nice tall spine. Exhale, gaze towards the back of the room. And release, bringing both palms to the left for a gentle counter twist. All right, now we'll bring the right foot the outside of the left hip and bring that left foot right next to the right knee. Extend your right arm up nice and tall, inhale. Exhale, bring your armpit to the outside of your knee, maybe grabbing onto that right knee. Gaze is behind you. You can use that left hand for support, or if you don't need it, go ahead and try to grab onto the inside of your right thigh or a bind. Inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, look behind you. One more breath here. And release, bringing both palms towards the right. Nice, gentle release. Plant your feet, you can scoop forward, coming onto the back. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. Ah. Cactus your arms, bending the elbows, and placing your shoulders on the mat. Both knees are bent, dropping both knees towards the left for a gentle supine twist. Your knees can be either up at the ceiling or you can drop your chin to the right. Go ahead and close down your eyes. We'll take three big breaths here at your own pace. And if you would like to, I offer you to think of something that you're grateful for today. Bring your knees back to center. Give yourself a little space. And release your hands back to a mat. Drop your knees towards the right. Gaze is up towards the left. Close down your knees. And if you'd like to, think of something that brings you joy. Your knees back into your chest, gently squeeze them in. Preparing for happy baby, grab onto the bottoms of your feet or your ankles and bring your elbows to the inside of your knee. 
Press your low back into the mat. Inhale. Exhale. If you'd like to, you can gently rock side to side. Keep pressing your full spine into the earth. And if you're feeling like it today, go ahead and make some happy baby noises. Inhale. Relax your face. Exhale, flutter your lips. We'll do that one more time because it feels so good and it's so relaxing. Inhale. <laughs> Wonderful. Go ahead and release your legs out long. Let your feet lay out. Bring your hands by your hips, palms face up. Close down your eyes, preparing for Shavasana. Shavasana is a time for stillness. Raises the urge to itch or fidget, fixing your clothes. Try to let things be. Become aware of what comes up in your thoughts, in your body. Just acknowledging it and letting it go. Like clouds passing by. If you found that you have all the thought, as soon as you're aware, just certainly let it go and come back to your breath. It's always there for you. I'll let you know next time. Start moving again. When you're ready, begin to take three breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Begin to wake up the body, dropping your chin side to side, wiggling your toes and your fingers, maybe rolling out the wrists, the ankles, whatever you need to do, whatever your body is doing. If you'd like to, you can reach your arms up overhead, bring your big toes to touch, and reach your whole spine off the back. Nice good morning stretch. Bringing your knees into the chest and rolling onto your favorite side using a bicep as a pillow. I like to take a moment to thank Mother for all that she purchases. If there's any other gratitudes you'd like to take, anything you'd like to leave on your mat, or any intention you'd like to set for your day. Feel free to do that now. When you're ready, we'll find a comfortable seat. 
medium supasana. Finding a nice tall spine. We'll close up class with a community breath. Bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale. Exhale. With gratitude and joy, we bow forward. Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I'm Nicole from Flow Into Nature. I really appreciate you spending your time with me and spending time on yourself. Um, this really is for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought. And if there's anything that you'd like to know, any questions you have, um, let me know in the comments. Thanks. I hope to see you again soon.